Whenever you ask someone in the Amphibia community who is their favorite character of the show, the two most common responses are either Anne or Marcy, and the data pretty much reflects that. With Marcy, I already made a video explaining why she's such a beloved character by so many people, but this video is explaining why Anne is so beloved. I'll be honest, although I like Anne and Marcy equally as my favorite characters, I do think the reasons for why Anne is adored so much are more interesting. Normally, when it comes to most shows, movies, and stories in general, fans usually don't have the main protagonist as their favorite character. When it comes to other Disney shows like The Owl House or Gravity Falls, for example, I generally prefer either the antagonists or allies of the main protagonist, rather than the main character themselves. So what makes Anne one of the best, if not the best protagonist that has ever come out from a Disney show? The answers vary from person to person, but there are some common reasons that people bring up for this question. One of the most common reasons people will bring up for loving Anne so much is, well, her character design. Similar to Marcy, Anne looks adorable. She has quite a lot of moments where you can't help but want to give her a hug. It really seems like the artists of the show went out of their way to make Anne one of the most adorable looking things to have ever exist in the cartoon. Of course, adorable looks needs to be backed up with the other reason for why Anne is beloved. Her goofball personality. Similar to other well-loved characters in the show, Anne is very fun and quirky, which is to be expected. When a character is very good at being funny, we tend to like them a lot more. When it comes to Anne, her fun personality makes us, the audience, like her a lot more as comic relief through her memorable lines and slapstick moments. Hey, was anyone gonna tell me I have leaves in my hair? Not now, Anne! Oh great, sorry! More importantly, Anne's funny personality goes well with another reason why she's often appreciated by fans, which is the pain and struggles she goes through in most episodes. To be clear, I'm not just referring to the slapstick. I'm referring to Anne's personal flaws and emotional pain she goes through in the show. In some of these scenes, we see her in a more intimate perspective where she reveals a lot of her own imperfections and insecurities. These moments turn Anne, who is a fun, loving character on paper, into someone who closely resembles an actual person in real life, someone with desires, goals, and empathy for other people. As a result, Anne becomes much more than just a character in a story. She becomes someone who people actually care about and want to see them succeed and grow. Now, I don't know if anyone has noticed this yet, but some of the reasons I laid out for why Anne is a beloved character are similar to why Andreas, the show's main antagonist, is also liked a lot by fans. This is not a coincidence. Anne and Andreas are very much two sides of the same coin with similar personalities, flaws, and personal struggles. The difference between them is the paths that they took in terms of overcoming their flaws and insecurities. Andreas doubled down on the toxic relationship he had with his father in the core, which of course led him to the very dark path that I discussed in another video. However, Anne was fortunate enough to meet Sprig, who allowed her to see just how toxic of a situation she was in with her relationship with Sasha and Marcy. This leads us to the last main reason I'll cover today for why fans love Anne so much, which is the growth she experienced. When we first saw Anne in the very first episode, she was a very flawed character, almost to the point where I find her unlikable to be honest. She was self-centered, manipulative, and lacked confidence in her ability to be self-reliant without her friends. However, in that same episode, she showed redeeming qualities like her strong heart, with empathy, and willingness to help others. Since that first episode of the show, we slowly but surely see Anne grow out of her flaws through the help of her friendship with Sprig, and it surely was not easy on her. By season 3, Anne has become a completely different character. She became very confident in herself, cared so much about others more than ever, and believed the hardest thing to do is sometimes the right thing for the scenarios she faced. When people saw Anne go through all of this growth, and considering they care about her like she was a real person, they can't help but feel proud of how far she has gone. At the same time, because of how emotionally attached we have become to Anne, it also hurts so much to see her bite the dust. Come to think of it, the two most popular characters of Amphibia, Anne and Marcy, are also the only characters of this show to have experienced a form of death. Also, the third and fourth most popular characters, Sprig and Sasha respectively, experienced near-death experiences by falling from the sky. Yeah, the writers are kind of cruel to their own fans in a way. They make characters that are so good to the point where we like them as if they were real, but then they go ahead and try to kill them off. Honestly, if Amphibia wasn't a Disney Channel cartoon, these deaths would have been permanent and the show would have been so much sadder than it already is. With that said, it really goes to show how well the writers did when it comes to writing a well-loved protagonist. They wrote Anne to be a very quirky but flawed character, however, she had potential to grow. As we saw her go through that growth, we grew to like her more to the point where we care about her because of how much we can relate to her struggles. 
As a result, whenever we do see her succeed in heroic acts like defeating the core, we all cheer for her. Of course, these are just some of the reasons for why we love Anne so much. There's a plethora of other reasons that I'm sure others will point out, like how Anne is a good representation of Thai Americans, for example. But this is the gist of it. So why is Anne Bunchoi the best protagonist? Simply put, she was written to be a real person to the people who followed her story. Oh, there once was a last name and the fair. She put up a front and played a part, but soon enough touched this too's heart. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something new from it. If you did, please give this video the thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more content like this, click on that subscribe button below. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great day. See you in the next one.